Okay, in this tutorial I'd like to describe to you the user interface of making faces. Um, as you'll see when you when you launch the app, uh, let's see, we'll show that to you. When you launch the app, you get your, your startup screen. And what you'll see up here in the left-hand corner here as I click on it, these are all of the options that are contained in the product. Okay, so as we turn these on, this first row of items are your input. So these are how you get images. The first one it brings up images from your photo library. The second one brings up images from your camera, if you have a camera attached. And the third one, the third one here brings up any images you've saved into your library. So if you've saved things before, then they would be here. Okay. Second row of icons are your selection area effects. We've got twirl, waves, spikes, vertical waves, pinching, bulging, and ripples. The third row here are our brush tools, and these are nudge, smudge, and smear. These three brushes are essentially similar uh, with just a higher viscosity. So the, the, the larger the drop, the more of the source image you're going to move as you make your changes. Uh, the, the bottom row here, this is our save image. Uh, so once you've created an image with making faces, clicking this button will save it just into your, your standard photos library on, on, on your iPhone or your, uh, your iPod Touch. Uh, the second icon here will save your image and all of your settings into a making faces file that's stored internally in the application. Uh, so if you if you have a project that you're working on and you want to start another one, you would want to save using this icon here. Okay. Um, up here in the upper right hand corner, we have the trash icon. So the trash icon deletes whatever the current effect is. So if I have an effect on and I hit delete, it'll go away. Uh, the second one here adds another instance of the current selected effect. So if I have uh, spikes selected and I delete it once, if I hit plus, I'll get another spike. Okay. The third thing here is the hide UI button. So as I do this, the UI goes away. And the fourth one here is a film strip. Basically, this creates an animation. Um, basically, it's an animation of uh, your starting image and your ending image. Now, down here in the bottom left-hand corner, what you'll see here is what we call the history palette. And the history palette is a unique thing to, uh, to making faces. But every effect that you apply, and I will just go through here, randomly select a bunch of effects, and I, I won't make much of a big deal as to what I'm doing with them, but as I add these effects, you'll notice that they show up here in my timeline. And so I can always go back in time and adjust one of the settings that I made. And again, you can see as if I hit the delete icon, all of these will disappear. Okay. Now, also, what you'll see over here in the bottom right-hand corner is what we call the contextual you uh, the contextual help, and contextual help basically gives you hints for whatever screen you're in. As you see right now, I'm in the main screen, so it's going to tell me what I need to do in this screen to get started. If I were to uh, let's say I'm I'm here and I have something selected already and I have an effect laid down. Now if I go here, I'll get a different help, and it'll, it'll give me all the different options that I have in this screen. Okay. And that very clearly is the user's interface for making faces.